हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ वांड्री शीतल फ्रॉम रयत शिक्षण संस्था राव बहादुर नारायण राव बोरावकी कॉलेज सिरामपूर दिस वीडियो इज प्रिपेर्ड अंडर द गाइडन्स एंड सपोर्ट ऑफ ऑनरेबल प्रिंसिपल डॉक्टर गायकवाड साहेब दिस वीडियो इज ओनली फॉर द एजुकेशनल पर्पजेस नाउ द चैप्टर फ्रॉम द ह्यूमन हेल्थ एंड डिसीज ऑफ द ट्वेल्थ सायन्स हियर इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव सीन about the different types of the immunity how this immunity system is get working and as we know that the wbc cells which is present in our body these cells plays an important role in work out this immunity system means that naturally fighting against the various types of the diseases inside the body this may be the inborn immunity is there or the artificial acquired immunity is there this inborn immunity it remains from the person from its birth to the end of its life and the acquired immunity is get injected into by taking the artificial medicines or the medicines syringes salines supplied by the doctor or suggested by the pathologist now we know that the what is the antigen and what is the antibody as the antigens they are present on the surface of the rbc and the antigens are the foreign substances they invading the body and capable of stimulating an immune response is known as a antigen and these antibodies they are nothing but the protective chemicals they are produced in immune system in response to antigen these antibodies they are get produced when the antigens they will be get the signaling or when they are get required against that these antibodies they are produced inside the body now in this video come towards the structure of the antibody here in this diagram that shows that the structure of the antibody these antibodies are known as the glycoproteins which are the commonly known as the immunoglobulins and each antibody is having a specific antigens means near about the many types of the antigens they are produced against that antibody's responses and these are produced they are having their specific binding site these immunoglobulins that is the igs they are produced in response to antigenic stimulation these antibodies they are produced by the plasma cells and which in turn are formed by the b lymphocyte the mature plasma cell they produce the antibodies at an extremely the very fast rate near about the 2000 molecules of the antibodies are produced per second in the human body and here this diagram is shows that it is the y shaped structure this antibody it is showing that y shaped structure and it is made up of the four polypeptide chains this here these two chains and these two chains they are made up of the four polypeptide chains the this outermost is that is the light chain and this inner one it is the heavy chain again these light chain it is divided into the two region and again this heavy chain is divided into the two region this shows that here the variable region of the heavy chain as well as the constant region of the heavy chain again this light chain it shows the variable region of the light chain as well as here the constant region of the light chain means here these four polypeptide chain again they are made up of the two regions that is the constant region as well as the variable region here that each chain is not separated in between that they will be get bind with the help of the disulfide bond when they forms a fork or they get turn at that point into the y shape that point it is called or that turn it is known as the hinge and above the surface of this both the chain here 
the antigen binding sites are present these antigen binding sites they are specific for the specific antibodies because here the locked key manner mechanism takes place just like the enzyme substrate complex formation is there the same thing is there the antibodies they are having the specific type of the antigen and that specific antibody is get attached to the particular antigen binding site and when they will be get combined they forms the antigen antibody complex now how this antigen antibody complex formation takes place here the study of the antigen and antibody interaction is known as a serology and that each antibody is the specific for the particular antigen that combining site of the antigen which is called as the antigenic determinants that is the epitopes and these epitopes they are react with the corresponding antigen binding site of the antibodies they are called as the paratopes these antigen binding site or the paratopes they are located on the variable region of the antibody here this diagram they are showing no it is the very magnified but that is the very microscopic structure because that rbcs they are nothing but the where on the surface of the rbcs these antigens are located and on these antigens here they are showing their location of the paratopes that different antibodies they are get attached to the different sites of that antigen the variable region of these antibodies they are shown and on that variable region different types of the antibodies that will be get attached the mostly here the specific antibody is for the specific antigen is there and when these antibodies they are get produced when body that will be get necessity to get formation that these antibodies they are get produced in response to antigenic stimulate when any type of the pathogen will be get entered inside the body or any foreign substances enter inside the body at that time these antigenic determinants they will be get stimulation and in response to that antigenic stimulant that antibodies that will be get produced and when they will be get forms in the lock and key manner that formation is known as the antigen antibody complex formation now which are the antigens present on the blood cell here there are different types of the antigens they are present on the human rbc these antigens they give rise to different types of the blood groups and there are the genetically determined blood group that is the various factors or the various systems of the blood group that will be get determined and now in recently we are using the laboratory that is the abo blood group system as well as the rh factor system along with that here the duffy kid lewis p mns and the bombay blood group these are so the different types of the blood group system but here the most commonly well known or we are daily routinely used in pathological laboratory to test the blood group of the individual that is the abo blood group system as well as the rh factor now come towards the abo blood group this a b and o this blood group it was discovered by the scientist card landsteiner in 1900 and after that year this ab blood group it was discovered by the landstein students dickeslo and the sterling in 1902 this landsteiner they was awarded by the nobel prize for this discovery of the human blood group and they found that the two antigens or the agglutinations are present on the surface of the human rbc and respectively they named them it is the a as well as the b antigen and in response to this a and b antigen they notice the corresponding antibodies or the agglutinins present in serum which is called as the a and the b now here that chart it shows that which type of the blood group and if the person is having that specific type of the blood group the genotype antigens which is present the antibodies present in serum and those person 
दो कैन डोनेट द ब्लड और कैन रिसीव द ब्लड फ्रॉम विच टाइप ऑफ द ब्लड ग्रुप हैविंग द इंडिविजुअल हियर द फर्स्ट इज द ए ब्लड ग्रुप एंड एज वी नो दैट हियर द ब्लड ग्रुप इट इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द मल्टीपल आल एंड देर फोर दिस शोज दैट इज द डॉमिनसी एज वेल एज द रेसिव जीन्स एंड एज पर द मेन्डल्स लॉ हियर दैट डॉमिनसी दैट विल बी गेट एक्सप्रेस सेम थिंग इज गेट अप्लाइड हियर suppose that person is having the specifically a blood group at that time it shows the genotype that is ia ia or here ia i0 means one is the recessive here again the person with the b blood group it is having the genotype that is ib ib or ib and the i0 the one is the dominant and one is the recessive here the person is with the ab blood group it is showing the genotype that is the ia as well as the ib both are the dominant are here those person is with the o blood group it is having the genotype the both are here the recessive both the genes they are the recessive here now come towards here the antigens present on the surface of the rbc those person they are having the a blood group which type of antigen is present on the surface of their rbc here a blood group individual it shows the a antigen b blood group individual it shows the b antigen present on the surface of rbc ab blood group person it shows both a as well as b antigen present on the surface of rbc and those person is with the o blood group it don't have the any antigen on the surface of the rbc means here that shows the nil no rbc is present those person they are having the o blood group now the antibodies present in the serum those individual is with the a blood group it shows the antibody b here the b antibody is present those person is with the b blood group it shows the antibody a and the ab blood group person here it do not show the any type of the antibody present in its serum that will be here the nil and those person is with the o blood group here both a and b both the type of the antibodies is present and the b antibody both are present here now the persons they can donate the blood to here the a blood group person he can donate the blood to a as well as the ab then the b blood group individual he can donate the blood to b as well as the ab blood group individual the person with the ab blood group he can donate the blood to only here the ab blood group individual and the o blood group individual he can donate the blood to here a also b also ab also and the o okay here for the all four blood group individual that o blood group person can donate the blood and therefore it we call them that is the universal donor now who can receive the blood these individuals are there and from that those persons those patient they are able to receive the blood suppose the person is with the a blood group at that time only here the only a as well as the o those individual is having the a blood group or o blood group he can receive the blood from that person then here b 
as well as the O. And in AB blood group, here A, B, AB, as well as the O, that is the universal here acceptor. The AB blood group, it is the universal acceptor, and the O blood group here he can receive the blood only from the person is having the O blood group. Okay, O blood group individual he can donate the blood to all and AB blood group individual he can receive the blood from all therefore this is the universal acceptor and this is the universal donor okay this shows the ABO blood group now come towards the RH factor what is this RH factor here this RH factor is nothing but the presence of antigen D and that you have to find out by the testing on the surface of RBCs. This RH it is the most complex type of the blood group system. This is the antigenic protein praised, which is present on the surface of RBCs of the human being and again this was first discovered by the Landstanner and the Wehner in 1914 on the surface of RBCs of the rhesus monkey and therefore that is known as the RH that firstly identified from that rhesus monkey by the Landstanner and the Wehner. The person they are having the RH factor or we call them that is the antigen D present on the surface of the RBC. Here it may be that is the RH positive as well as the RH negative. These two things they can be used here by showing the person is with the maybe A positive, A negative, O positive, O negative, AB positive, AB negative. That is depending upon this RH factor means here that antigen D. This antigen D it induces a strong immunogenic responses when introduced into RH negative individual. And this RH blood group, it is the important factor in the blood transfusion because here we cannot get transfer the blood from the positive person to the negative. Suppose the person is the A blood group positive, we cannot transfer that blood from the A negative blood group because this condition that will be create the complications in the body of the person. And therefore, this ABO blood group though they have discovered by the Landstanner, Again, this land standard in 1940, they find out the another factor are antigen D on the surface of RBC. And this antigen D, when they discovered from the rhesus monkey, they will be notified that the positive and negative thing, they are the plays an important role in determining in transfusion of the blood. Here, the one condition may be get created due to that the hemolytic disease of the newborn or we call them it is the erythroblastosis foetalis which is occurred due to the positive or negative blood group. How suppose here the RH positive RBC of the fetus that may be entered the mother's circulatory system during the childbirth and this mother it is the RH negative and the fetus is the RH positive at that time they will be create the complication and at that time here the mother has to get uh, supplied with the antigen D injections due to that the such a period this anti RH antibodies that will be get produced in the mother's body and this RH negative mother due to injection of the RH anti uh, RH antigen D that will be get created the complications and these complications get removed with the help of the injecting antigen D. The during the time of the pregnancy or within that short period that such antibodies that will be get produced in the mother's body and for that sufficient period that fetus that will be get safely come outside. This complications is created due to the negative person. Therefore, this RH factor, it is the most important factor in determining the blood group of the individual. Okay. In this way here, we have seen about the structure of the antibody. Then, 
which are the parts present in that structure of the antibody after that here the how the antigen antibody complex formation takes place that each antigen it is having the specific antibody and these antibodies they are produced in response to the stimulation and the abo blood group system as well as the rh factor thank you